then we have the uh, desploit which is now xanty2 but i don't actually like the xanty2 so i would be again uh, as you can see desploit merges with xanty2 but still you will be able to find the desploit version over here save browsing continue information okay how can i go ahead and okay maybe due to my computer's limitations i won't be able to access this page and yes uh, just ignore this part and actually you can go ahead and go through I'll just go ahead and remove the S version and I'll just try to perfect it won't work Perfect Details visit this and face site unsafe site perfect so uh, you can either download the Desploit APK from anywhere over here. I have been using that since a long time and it's a good application uh, and it also works offline. That means if you are even going to do Wi-Fi and if you don't even have the access on the Wi-Fi on the person's uh, Wi-Fi, then it will still work. Uh, that means you can still disrupt the person's uh, Wi-Fi service. But uh, Xanti is also good that Zimperium, Xanti 2, uh, you can do different types of man in the middle attacks, port scanning, but you need to go ahead and log in and it's not, uh, you can say, uh, it, it will not make you anonymous at any point of time. That's the reason I don't like Xanti 2. But the features that it has, if you're a penetration tester and if you're not looking for going anonymous on this specific thing, then Xanti 2 is for you. It has all the features and even better features than Desploit. So after Desploit, we have Network Spoofer, which is also a very good application. And you can download Network Spoofer from over here. This is the original website. We can go ahead and create a fake, uh, uh, let's say, uh, for example, the better way to can tell you this would be, let me rephrase this. Uh, network spoofer goes ahead and spoof the person's, uh, specific, uh, IP addresses, the MAC ID, uh, and all this stuff. It can all go ahead and do multiple spoof. Let's say, for example, if you're already in someone's computer. Let's say, for example, uh, I'm using this computer through Wi-Fi and someone else is also have the access to my Wi-Fi who is using this network spoofer. You can go ahead and run multiple spoofs at one time. You can go ahead and uh, redirect my all my traffic to somewhere else. He can go ahead and hijack my session, my YouTube session, Facebook session. session. And let's say, for example, if I'm uh, viewing this network spoofer, uh, specific thing on my computer and the person who is actually using network spoofer he can replace all these um, specific terms to something else such as troll troll so whenever i see network spoofer i'll see only troll written everywhere he can go ahead and delete random words from these websites so if i go ahead and click this specific website I won't even see many things from this website or if you go ahead and delete us, delete solution then wherever there is written solution in this web page, it will disappear. He can go ahead and flip images, flip tiles, reverse different types of title, troll face. Uh, he can send that to or he can even go ahead and do different types of man in the middle attacks such as running it passively so that we won't be able to detect or waiting for the Wi-Fi connection and then deducing it and gaining access to that. So this is another version of a different type of attack that you can go ahead and run through the network spoofer. After that, after network spoofer, we have the Wi-Fi analyzer, which is a very great tool. If you're an Android user, then you can go ahead and download the, uh, go ahead and purchase the Wi-Fi spectrum analyzer. And actually this was for the iOS. Let me check. It only supported iOS. Yeah, Wi-Fi, Wi-Spy, perfect. Okay, yep, it is Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is a specific uh, device that only connects to iPhone through which you can go and detect any kind of network activity going on near you. Uh, let's say, let it be, let's say, through Bluetooth connections or let's say through uh, data transferring through Wi-Fi or any other thing, any random thing, it will go ahead and detect it. Uh, so this is one port, but we are not looking into iOS. So uh, if you only want to go ahead and analyze the Wi-Fi, then I have Wi-Fi analyzer for you and you can go and download it from over here it will show you from where exactly uh the uh, is the what exactly is the speed of the specific wi-fi and which has the highest uh speed or the highest uh connection near you so you may think that okay what's the big deal in that because i can also go ahead and see that on my wi-fi connection inside my phone how much speed i'm getting but the thing is that it can it shows you the exact thing which you will not be able to see on your normal wi-fi and you can go ahead and detect exactly where the network connection is and you can go ahead and uh, actually uh, search where the exact network is uh, coming from. So that's what this Wi-Fi does. And finally, we have the Wi-Fi kill and you can go ahead and download it from over here or this is the official website that's Paranoid Period Me for Wi-Fi. This is the uh, version for Wi-Fi downloader. What this does is that it actually goes ahead and I'll just go ahead and show you 
the image for that okay this is how it looks like it can go ahead and uh, it searches all the ip address and mac id uh, mac ids of uh, specific uh, uh, computers that are there on the lan and you can go ahead and stop uh, uh, transferring data to any of the uh, specific computer that you want you don't need to actually go ahead and know which a comp uh, which exactly computer they are or which network they are you can go ahead and stop be it be uh, be anyone anyone who is actually accessing through iphone or linux or uh, through any kind of it doesn't matter which system they are using any device they are using to go ahead and access the web you can go ahead and stop the internet just by one click through wifi key and you don't even have to uh, need to know much in much let's say much information about uh, networking or any other thing the start of wifi key but you need to have root access to run all of these things else you won't be able to run these things so the first thing that you would like to you would need to do would be to go ahead and root your android so you can also find different uh, we also have wireshark and for play store which has a different name i believe yeah it has the name is interceptor ng that we have on a play, a play store that you can go ahead and sniff different uh, traffics on the wifi then we have let's say shark for root that you can also do the same thing for that can ping different things and dump uh, different packets on the wireshark so uh, this way you can also go ahead and search for a lot of things i have shown you the important parts uh, that can be used uh, the application that can be used through android to hack into a system or trace or sniff their wifi uh, stuff so that is it for this tutorial guys in the next tutorial i'll be teaching you how we can go ahead and hack into a android system rather than hacking from an android system and we would be using cal linux for doing this thing